Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering the new Tableau certification account that's just launched. There's actually something that caught me off guard here. If you've ever done a Tableau certification exam, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to hear what I discovered about this new account. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so I'm here in the Pearson View website. Now, I, I never really know how to go directly to this. So what I've got into the habit of doing is just Googling Tableau Pearson View and it just comes up as a top link. Google is uh, good as ever and it takes you straight to this page. So you get there and you're pretty much ready to go. Now, when you log in, there's two notifications. Obviously, COVID is still an ongoing issue. So um, if you're trying to sit an in-person exam with Pearson View, they've got this standard notice across the top. But um, they've got this notice here from Tableau, which is about the new certification account. Now, this is interesting because um, for a while now, it, it's sort of been this sort of weird thing that in Tableau, you've had to have an account for everything across different systems. So um, a while back, we used to have this uh, other exam provider that didn't use any sort of Tableau login. You had to have your own credentials there. And for that account, what I did when I sat my first Tableau exam now eight years ago is I used my personal email. And so when I sat lots of the exams that I've done videos on last year, I also used my personal email when I signed up for Pearson View. However, when I then got to Pearson View and I tried to basically log in, it asked me for my Tableau account. So if I go here to log in, it's actually going to log me straight in because I'm already logged into my Tableau account. I'll come and show you that in a second. It will log me straight in. And the first time you log in, it will ask you if you uh, can enter some information. Essentially, I'll put some uh, video footage of this up on screen and you need to enter this before you can proceed. Once you've done that, you can obviously go through. And I sort of panicked because the first thing I did was obviously go look at my title history. And when I went there, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything whatsoever. And I was so confused because I assumed that when Tableau had transported all of the titles from LES and everything from Pearson View up until January the 4th, uh, I thought everything had been brought over. But here's the kicker. Because of the Tableau account, I didn't have a Tableau account under my personal email, which is what I'd been using this whole time for all of my certification accounts. So what I had to do is go over to Tableau and actually create a Tableau account. Now I already have one. I have one uh, using a work email. So this is what I've always used. I've always used that account for work email. So on the Tableau website, I use my work email. On every other website, I just use my personal email, things like certification, Tableau public, and so on and so forth. But it seems you now need to have an account that spans both. And so what you then need to do is create your personal account. This was never possible before. I'd actually tried to change my Tableau account to a personal email that was never allowed. It seems to be allowed now. And you can go ahead and create your own personal account uh, here in Tableau. And once you've done that, you get something called a Tableau account. I think this is interesting. I think this hints towards a future where this account is gonna do a lot more than just certifications and logging into the Tableau website. That's, uh, that's almost a foregone conclusion, but I won't speculate. Once you've done that, once you've logged in, um, you go back to your titles and you create that Tableau account. Now you log in with that Tableau account. When you actually go to log into this page, it throws up a Tableau authentication window. And once you log in, I've filled in all the same information again. And now I have uh, my correct uh, title status here. So you can see all my past exams. It's really nice they brought or even the expired ones, even the ones that have expired down here. These are all in here. It's kind of, it's an important record. So look, you've sat them but they've expired and actually it's a really good place to come and see you know what you need to update and renew so as you can see i've i've got my uh recent exams in fact i didn't know until i logged into this page that i would actually passed my beta exam for the tableau certified data analyst exam so uh, that's good um, I passed all of that and uh, everything else is looking good. So I've got my specialist exam again. I passed that last year. I did a video about that. I also did a video about the Tableau Certified Associate Consultant exam. The next exam that's about to expire very soon is what I call the beast. Thankfully, this exam has been retired. You don't have to sit a seven hour exam anymore for this uh, service certified professional exam, uh, but it expires in literally just four days. So in four days time, this will expire and I'll have to sit the new exam. The new exam hasn't been posted yet. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that this is going to expire and the new one will become available very soon after. Otherwise there'll be this weird moment of time where you can't really renew the exam. 
I'm not in a rush to renew it. That's a, that's a, that's a topic for another time. But nonetheless, all the others are there. My Tableau 10 and 9 exams, geez. And my Tableau 8 qualified associate exam is still here. This was before Tableau even used years as a, as a number. So 2014 uh, is there as well. And I've actually, I think everything else has expired. So that's easily the oldest exam that I've got here. So what do I need to do with my exams? First of all, I think I definitely need to do my uh, desktop certified associate. I did that in 2020 during COVID. It expired on the 12th of January. So um, COVID has been around for two years, so it's expired. So I need to do that. Um, it's a pretty important one to do actually. And then uh, after that, I'll probably go on to the Tableau certified associate exam. I'll obviously make videos on these. Um, and then Tableau Server Qualified Associate. I think this has been retired. So Server Certified Associate and Tableau Server Qualified Associate. I have no idea what the difference is between these two exams. They say, it says I sat them on the same day. So what I'm thinking is that these are the same thing and potentially uh, what's going on here is that uh, this is going to be the new name. So this D sq dq9 sca it doesn't really make sense i don't know why that's on there twice um the certified desktop professional i need to sit that again and desktop qualified associate also need to sit that again that sort of goes without saying so yeah um got lots of exams to renew this year uh, and yeah i thought i'd just make a video about this because it caught me out and i spent a bit of time like just trying to mess around but anyway um the rest of the website is pretty straightforward uh, i don't think i need to sort of walk you through that other than they've got a nice um, dashboard here you don't have the ability to link badges yet if you um, use the service called a claim let me just go and see if i can uh, log into mine so let's go to a claim uh, digital credentials and if i sign in i'm wondering how it's going to sign me in there we go it's going to remember my credentials um, you can see that all my Tableau credentials are still there. I've got 13 badges. So I've got specialist, certified data analyst, uh, certified associate. So even though this website here said you can link these badges soon, my badge has already turned up uh, under the certified data analyst exam here. So as long as you're using the same email across your exams, this should generally work. And again, you can see my expired exams here as well. So I somehow seem to have um, some of these twice, but nonetheless, they're all there and um, yeah, I can sort of progress. These are the e-learning badges for the record if you're wondering where those are from. Um, I sort of just did that as like a trial of the exam just to see what it's like. So that's pretty much it, not much more to share than that. Um, yeah, certification seems to have had a, a, a revamp, new, new provider, new system. And um, to be honest, it makes it a much nicer experience. Uh, the website's a lot clearer. Scheduling exam is also a lot easier. Um, you can take the exams online. That's a much, much sort of needed thing. And all the exams going forward don't require you to spend, uh, at least in the worst case scenario, seven hours in a room. Um, the desktop certified professional one used to be an in-person exam until they moved it online, which thank God that was that was done. So um, yeah, it's really good to see uh, some options here and yeah, good to see things improving. And yeah, these are the exams that I've sat on Pearson View so far. So I've done three exams, Certified Associate Consultant, Certified Data Analyst, and Certified Desktop Specialist. These never expire, thank God. So yeah, I've sat them once, again, forever. I'm sure the other ones will expire at some point, especially the Associate exams. So yeah, those will be next. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.